Now, if I say to you, nothing feels like a Mizuno, then uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say Mizuno produce good feeling forged irons. Uh, they also produce a very nice looking irons, but they're making a claim that the introduction of the material chromalloy into their new GPX921 forged iron, it's the first time that they've introduced a material into a fully forged iron and they claim the results are amazing. What I want to find out is that true when they're in the hands of an average golfer. So it's into four golf, get Trackman switched on. Let's do some testing. The question I asked was, uh, the, the statement I made was, this could be a huge club for Mizuno. I'm really interested to see what it does in terms of performance. And uh, I've just got to say, I appreciate you cleaning uh, my balls, Jim. I'm trying to get a bit less rigid than the fact that, you know, stood in front of a camera. Um, less boring. <laughs> uh, anyway. I just hit some golf balls. It's not a bad start, Jim, is it? So, look at that. Obviously. What a difference in club head speed. Two absolute solid strikes to start. Ball speed 114, 81.9 club head speed, 7.5 spin, 154 carry on an 8 iron. Should we stop it there? Same again. Got through that one a little bit. Ball flight for me is maybe just a tad high on this 8 iron. If we get 8 iron of testing here today, not 7 iron, so there will be some differences there. Incredible performance off that. Again, you can see just crept that club head speed up there, just swinging that little bit harder. 83.4, 113, didn't come out the middle, 154 carry. And uh, yeah, I'd be interested. One thing I can't see on there at the moment is launch angle, which I think is just uh, a tad too high for me. Stunning. I mean, that again is right down. That's back to the first two shots, really. Much better balanced swing and much more in my kind of swing speed and tempo. I'm going to leave it there on the eight iron. Yeah, bang on again, 154. There's sort of one, two, three, four, five balls there at 154. Right, quick break off from that testing. And as you can see in the first shots that I've hit, uh, particularly we're only with eight iron in, it's pretty impressive in terms of the numbers, what they're producing. What they've really done, like I said, this, uh, this materials chrome alloy, it's very strong. Um, it allows them to make a very thin and flexible face. They've moved a bit of weight um, from around the heel area of the club and shifted it more to the toe and the perimeter which again they claim to give a little bit more stability across the club face for off center hits and i think that's always the most difficult thing to determine are these irons forgiving and what does forgiving mean and other than hitting over literally hundreds of golf balls i don't think you can ever come up with that answer but so far what i'm finding out is this is potentially a real golf club a real set of irons from mizuna but we need to try some longer irons all right we're going to move into six iron i've got to say i mean i don't want to make this video about the looks but they are stunning they've done an amazing job in terms of keeping this very much a compact iron a huge six iron That's got to be up around the sort of 180 mark, I would think. Got to be. 181 carry, 5-2 spin, 125 ball speed, 6 iron. Wow. Oh, solid, you know. That's another decent ball, just turning over, just that little bit down that left-hand side again. 
what will be interesting to see in terms of ball speed. Look at that, 186 carry. With, I might add, incredible feel. Oh, seriously, I've already said a number of times that you can't see ball flight down the range because it's so dark behind us, but these are, ball flight's incredible. Again, I can't see launch angle, we'll go through that uh, very shortly. 185 carry, still keeping that spin up around that 5-7 mark, 126 ball speed. This is six iron, don't forget. I am to remind myself that. Yeah, I mean, that's as good of an iron that I've hit in terms of a combination of power. Just, I mean, that's just dropped off, seriously. It was a terrible strike by comparison. It definitely come off the bottom, 180 carry. A combination of power and, like I said, off the bottom, forgiveness is what I call forgiveness, or so that off-centre strike, still getting the ball out there. So again, just a little bit of map before ball. It'll took a bit off it, I reckon. Yeah. Incredible. We're going to go after one. And I did. That's, that, the ball flight is incredible. Unreal. Wrapper's coming off and we're gonna we're gonna try the four iron. Right, let's hit a couple of four irons. And if these things are going with that kind of ball flight, I'm well impressed. Oh, absolutely firing out. Well, let's see what it does, because the ping out of that in terms of off the face seemed like it was flying. 201 carry, four iron. Ball flight, 200 carry. You're coming into greens. I'm talking like hybrid kind of flight here in terms of being able to, where you've normally got, or where you normally need that real low CG to produce that sort of high ball flight. But also that penetrating ball flight as well, which is a great combination. Seriously, I cannot hit a four iron any better than that. Now, that's with that wonky swing I'm putting on it, which, uh, look at that, 200 carry, 129 ball speed again. That's three ball speeds at 129, 130, 131. I'm just gonna have to end it there. That's right down the, right down the line again. Slightly out the bottom. Yeah, just dropped off just that little bit, 194. All spinning around that sort of 4,000 number. I have to have a look at the data and do a bit of a summary, I think. Astonishing performance there. I'll tell you something now, the last time I um, did a video with such a reaction, in all honesty, was the MP20 HMB. And again, I was kind of blown away by the, what I was seeing. Now, not, forget what you're reading, but what I was seeing. And I've got exactly the same reaction today. But the difference is, and this is the major difference for me, HMB was in fairly an oversized head shape. More than, I was more than happy with it. But for me, the ultimate aim would always be get the HMB performance packed into a smaller profile. And to me, that's exactly what they've done in this 9214 range. It's incredible, seriously. Right, six iron and four iron done. And uh, well, as you've probably heard from some of the comments I made during the video, and I will literally, this is uh, obviously following straight on from it. I'm pretty astounded by what they've achieved. And uh, I'm not gonna repeat what I said about that HMB, the MP20s, but that's exactly what they've done in a nutshell, produced an incredibly um, great feeling club in a small profile with ball speed I assume across the club face because I'm never going to get it out the middle every time and pretty much that ball went pretty decent on every strike that I hit um, 
I'll, the data is flashing up in front of you now in terms of averages and I'm not going to go through each and every shot. I don't want this to be data led and in the coming weeks what I'm going to do, I'm really interested to get these out on the golf course along with the other three different styles that we've got released from Mizuno and we'll do a much more in-depth look at these clubs but they've seriously produced something that like I said is potentially a massive seller for them and a massive bonus for the club golfer that wants to play that small profile almost blade looking its style thin top line with forgiveness with ball speed with feel what more can you ask for that is it that's ticking every single box for me so as ever thank you for watching if you tried these clubs because they are out on demo right now then uh, comments down below and let me know have you had the same experience as what i've just had in trying those irons and uh, I'm going to carry on testing like I say keep your eye out for some future stuff out on the golf course and we'll get Lewis involved uh, the professional and see what his thoughts on these things are as well right I'm off I'm going to hit a few more golf balls with these I think <laughs>